Hi there, welcome back to Silver Lining Art. My name is Anish and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you the process of making two of these three paintings that I made to add more beauty and inspiration to my kitchen. So without further ado, let's get to it. Most of the paintings I make, I don't end up recording their process. And one of these times when I did not record and ended up painting these onions that I absolutely loved. And I was a little bit bummed that I could not record the painting process of the onions. But uh, those really inspired me to paint something beautiful for my kitchen. Um, and so I made two more paintings and I've been able to record those for you. And in this video, I really want to show you, of course, the painting process of um, me painting food. I think this is the first time I'm putting, uh, I'm painting food on this channel. Uh, but cooking is quite an essential part of, of my life. And I do want to talk about um, how cooking, um, like painting, is a creative process for me. And um, while it's different, I think it's uh, in, in, in the act of it, I think uh, for the meditative quality and um, just the joy of creation i get from painting i think i i think i get a very similar joy from cooking as well so i didn't have to look too far to find reference photos uh, to make this painting i just had to look to my to my instagram my instagram <laughs> used to be called so i've been cooking for long long time way 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 before uh, i have been painting and so I had my Instagram used to be called Indian Guy Cooking. And <laughs> once I started painting, I've changed it to Indian Guy Creates so I could post uh, painting uh, photo photos as well. And so if you have not uh, following me on Instagram yet, do check it out. You might enjoy some of the painting and also some of the cooking that you'll see on the channel. And uh, I, I've been thinking about cooking a lot more lately, especially while I was painting um, uh, these paintings and uh, why I wanted to have some paintings in my kitchen. I think um, they're of course quite inspiring. It almost feels like a menu card. You know, when you look at food, you get hungry. And I think, I hope that's what these paintings will serve. And I think I might even keep changing them, uh, keep changing the the paintings once in a while keep making new food paintings and um, maybe have a seasonal <laughs> have a seasonal uh, group of pa uh, paintings that I put up uh, based on maybe the fresh produce or since for instance in the winter I might have more soups uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to paint uh, any specific dish or any specific type of beverage so here you you're seeing me paint uh, a flight of beers and uh, I used a few reference photos uh, from the internet for this but most of it was just imagination and uh, I think <laughs> I didn't want to include um, some beverage in it and I feel like beer fits the fits the vibe in our house pretty pretty well both me and my housemate are uh, are big fans of craft beer and <laughs> um, I thought it would it, it, it really work with the with the spirit of our house I did have a lot of challenges while painting this beer I don't know I think I, I just haven't looked at beer that much uh, in order to paint it I have tried painting beer, beer I think once before but um, I think it would be really uh, useful for me to just sit and look at a glass of beer and understand all the nuances of how light moves around the circular glass, how it affects the, um, the, the reflections, how the haziness of the beer comes into play. And I've tried to think about a few of these aspects while painting these because, I, I, of course, this was a flight of beer, right? So every beer had to be... Uh, had to look at least a little bit different so i've tried to have some amber a stout some hazy beers but just to um i feel like there was a mental image in my mind and although i've done a pretty good job i think in representing it i still feel like something is missing so 
I think this 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 might be a future video where I'll just uh, actually have a glass of beer in front of me and just try to make many 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 paintings of that glass, really studying it from different angles, different light conditions, uh, maybe different uh, hazy hazinesses of of beers. Maybe try a couple of different types of beer. I think that would be a really fun exercise, and I think would make a really good painting video as well. Um, so do let me know if that is something that interests you. I would, I would, um, I would love to try it out. I have painted quite a few other food items. I've painted. Um, I remember I've painted chicken wings for sure. I've painted sushi. I've also, in terms of beverage, I think I've painted uh, quite a lot of tea. <laughs> Um, so I think I might keep painting just different foods as I go, and um, you know, based on my mood, keep changing the paintings in the kitchen, or maybe just keep adding more uh, paintings. <laughs> so here's also a fun thing that I learned while making this painting. If you see the little highlights in the bottom. Um, I was amazed at how you could just really quickly change the texture of the surface by adding reflections. Definitely a decision I made on the fly and it worked out really well. <laughs> 